Patrick Chan <laughs> on the BT stop. couch this morning. Thank you. My pleasure. For getting up early. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Just said you should have seen the line of alarm clocks. <laughs> Not a morning person. No, no, I, I never was. Uh, even when I was a young kid and uh, just started skating, I had to wake up in the morning, but I never liked it. I hated it. It was, it was dreadful. So, uh, Patrick, a two-time world champion going into last Friday. We have some uh, visuals of you last Friday when you made it three times. Tell us about this event in London, Ontario. Uh, it was great. London, Ontario was um, super, super special. It was full of uh, Canadians. It was awesome. It was like skating back in Vancouver at the p and &E. It really felt, felt amazing to, to do that. And I really wanted to defend my third ti my third title I uh, I had a bit of a uh, stumbly season but I really gathered myself and took a step back and did the proper training because my goal at the end of the season was despite all the results I've had was to win another world championship and we were just talking off camera you're only 22 years old and this particular event the world championships in London Ontario you said were even more pressure filled than the 2010 Winter yeah. Olympics when I went to Vancouver, it was a fresh experience. I didn't have any expectations except wanting to win a medal because I was young and I, I thought it would be cool, right? And whereas now I think I have a little more responsibility. I, I went to the, into London, Ontario with two world titles and I almost had an expectation for myself and I think people are also uh, have an expectation f uh, for me to, to win another title. Um, because if you can do it twice, why can't you do it three times, right? So. There is definitely that pressure on you and again, at 22 years of age, you have become sort of the established in the figure skating world, mm -hmm. it, that comes with a lot of pressure and do you find it difficult being a role model? You seem so easy, you seem so comfortable with yourself. Funny enough, I find that if you just really have a good time, smile and have fun and um, and be honest and it's it's really easy to deal with, with being a role model and, um, and really just be yourself because then you wouldn't be a really true role model if you weren't yourself. It's true, and sometimes you, you say stuff that people kind of go, what? <laughs> but at least you're being authentic. <laughs> right, and, and you just laugh it off. <laughs> right, and is that one of the messages you're taking to what you're doing one week after winning your third world title? You're in yeah. Vancouver to do what? I'm here in Vancouver to speak to the Baldwell uh, High School. Um, they're, they're celebrating, the, of course, their graduation, and they asked me to attend their, their celebration. And so I'm, uh, I'm going to just talk to them, and I haven't really thought about what I'm going to talk to, uh, talk about. Um, it's still, I'm still processing, but probably just to enjoy the next stage of their life and not rush into, rush to rush too fast into getting a job and starting to work. It's, it's, a, I, t I, I mean, I'm 22. I'm still not in university, of course, because of my circumstances. But I, I think the point is, is that I really went ahead and. and I wanted to really accomplish something in something I was passionate about and uh, I didn't take shortcuts I really took the time and and I knew that high university is always going to be there uh, at the end of the day what do you aspire to be if not Patrick Chan world champion <laughs> athlete of the year Lou Marsh winner in 2011 and all those other things uh, maybe in television but really definitely not in this, <laughs> this uh, time you don't want to get up this morning of, this morning no <laughs> uh, it would probably be uh, in the afternoon I would like um, but definitely television uh, I love I love working in front of um, cameras and and I, I I did a George Stropanopoulos in, in Toronto and did a short comedic segment and that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So I guess, I don't know, it's, it's up in the air. It could be, I don't know, or I could be involved in sports and um, training and, and that area where I think I have not a niche and nobody knows what I'm doing and I'm doing something that nobody else is doing in figure skating. So maybe you get to spread that around and teach p other people. Maybe you can blend the two. Mm -hmm. I'm sensing a reality TV show with Patrick Chan <laughs> training oh, the no. next level <laughs> on camera. That's so cool. Sports casting analysis or comedian. Those are all, all I like great that. options. I like that title. I really do. That's good. <laughs> a great thing to aspire to. Now what would you take in university? Uh, I could take uh, several things. I think um, uh, one of them could be like kinesiology, yeah. uh, another could be business. Um, if I maybe decide to open my own figure skating school, I mean, that's been an idea, it's to open a school in Toronto. Um, a place where I could maybe just uh, cater, 
a whole program to the skaters. So uh, everything from training off ice to training on ice to, um, I don't know, dealing with media or yeah. dealing with injuries and proper recovery and rehab and, um, and, and food, proper nutrition. So it would be like a, that would be my dream come true would be to kind of um, have have this this school where I, I look after the skater completely. No shortage of aspirations. <laughs> Patrick Chan will probably be sharing all of this and much more with the students at Bodwell uh, this afternoon. You can follow him on Twitter. There is uh, Patrick Chan's website. Thank you so much for being here. I hope it's we helped pleasure. you write your speech today. <laughs> it's great you did, to have actually. you, and, and uh, good luck moving forward. We'll be watching. Thank you. It is 7:55 on this Friday morning. We're back in a moment on BT.